I've got Claudia Kazaya. Hello, everyone. And Mr. August 12th in the building. 12th. Woo! Hmm. And I'm really, really excited because we're about to do our 101. 101, for those that have never heard of it before, it is when I have the opposite sex in the building. And then, as a man... <laughs> what am I? <laughs> in the building. That was my intro. Like, okay, you really messed it. that up. Like, I really went into that. Should I try it again? Okay, one so... Time, one more time. <laughs> I have the opposite <laughs> sex in the building. And what happens is we try and get the perspective from the opposite sex. So let's say a man is in here. He tries to ask questions to try and understand why females are crazy. And then vice versa. Why do men cheat from the female perspective? You know? Why do you cheat, though? I don't cheat. Okay. I'm just asking. It's not. That's not the question. <laughs> so accusation. Why do you cheat? Why do you cheat? <laughs> yeah. Papa looked into my eyes when you said it. So. <laughs> looked into his soul. Shall we start our 101? August, do you have a 101 to ask us? So which friendship is more fickle? Male to male? Male to female? Or female to male? Oh. Okay, so I've got a good example of this. Um, so a lot of my friends are guys, right? Since I was young. I don't know. I'm a bit of a tomboy. I get on with guys more. So like all my best friends were guys. But... So we're tight, we're tight until they get girlfriends. And then the girlfriends, for some reason, get threatened by the female friend. So then that becomes a fickle friendship. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah, yeah, and vice versa. So it's a shame, but I feel like male to, fe male to female are more fickle. If I have to be honest, right, <sighs> I've got to give it to my girls. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it is about us, but we don't know how to keep friendships. I do know how to keep friendships. It's just that you guys are so trifling. The way that Jordan came at Chloe, like, you just don't understand. <laughs> let it go. I know, no, I, know. Just, I knew you were going to no, relate it to just, this. You just don't understand what loyalty it means. It's like, not your situation. But we have to be loyal to our friends. And I feel like sometimes girls aren't loyal. It's like they come into your life, they act that you're like they're your best friends. You share so much with yeah. them. And then all of a sudden, you hear that they're gossiping about you or they yeah, snaked the you for thing, a man. Yeah. And you're like, why? What? We are best friends. Why are you doing that? Do you think guys are more loyal with guys? I think that friends? guys don't have friendships that are that deep to even get to that place. I, I feel that they don't share emotions the way we do, which is probably why we, we have all these fights. Yeah, so sorry. I think we get in so much more deeper, yet we fight so much more bigger because yeah. we're more emotional, of course. It becomes like family. Exactly. Think, yeah. And I feel like with men, it's like, yeah, you're right. Oh, I beat this one. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Is this really what you lot think about men? Yeah. Okay, share oh, us. You don't know. Do, not, yeah, tell us the truth. What are male friendships like? They can be just as rocky because men don't speak about emotions. So it's like, if some, like, there's been a few times where I might have done something that someone would see well they would have seen it as oh like, i don't like the way you done that da, 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 da. but they don't want to talk about it because it's an emotional thing and they don't want to show that they're vulnerable or they were hurt by it or they feel weak like i think nah, really man, like, i thought men talk about it and fight and then nah, get over it nah. that's women i reckon in terms of male to female i have to question this relationship just because hmm. can men and women really be friends is there always going to be this underlying in sexual tension especially when you spend a lot of time together you know you can have that best friend that you went to university university with and you stay in each other's rooms and dorms and loki you're like is he gonna touch me but no you can't you can't touch me though that'll be sick but loki you're like so the thing is again oh. because i've had so many guy mates and they're literally like my brothers i'm being deadly honest like 50 percent would then go i'm in love with you and then if I, uh, yeah. and if 100 then if i say you know look let's just get over this honestly you're like my bro and i have a lot of love for them they will then cut me out their lives so how are you friends with, have you been friends so with they would cut you out because you because don't like you them don't, yeah that's so i've loser. had that as well obviously the people that stay around then you know they're there for life but this happened a lot and you kind of go wow so the whole friendship me telling you about everything every other guy and you're just waiting for me to what like you back that's hurtful as well so that's super fickle i reckon i think it is fickle i think that's actually one of the most fickle relationships yeah. because low-key someone yeah. likes someone someone is going to get offended when someone else gets into a relationship you know you don't like the girl you know it you know you don't like the boy either low-key you don't right have you ever been friends with a girl that Loki you've liked? August? Yeah. Did you ever tell her? Yeah. You told her? Yeah. And, and then what she happened? went by and you went by. No, I, no I, I got put in a friend zone and I was there for like a good three years. I was there for a good three years. But did you then change? Did you then see her? All right, you know, that's out my system. I've told her I wanted to be friends because I love you as a person. No, she ended up giving it to me anyways. Oh. Listen, uh, darling. I'm out. If, I'm out. If I talk, I'll be in trouble. 
If I talk, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> right, let's say, let's say wait, that wait, wasn't wait. a situation. Do you think men and women can be friends solely? Platonically? Yeah. Not all the time. You and I are friends. Yeah. Well, what are his intentions? Yeah, mm. what are your intentions? Well, my intention is not to take you out on a date, so... What does that mean? So I'm not dateable, but I'm the otherable. You're my friend. Why what does that I, mean? Why, why would I take my friend out on a date? Okay. I th- okay. I don't, let's clarify <laughs> that. Okay. She's like, I thought. Okay. Well, first thing, first let's things move first. On no, no, no. First yourself. things first. Well, <laughs> what we're not going to do is jump to conclusions. Right. <laughs> but you just said 100%. Anybody who's male and got a female friend is yeah, not like that. Exactly. You just said 100%. Thank you, Claudia. When no, I said 50 I said, you were... I, I said 100% because you said 50% of your male friends. But you said 100 no, I'm saying 100%. <laughs> I'm agreeing with that 50%. Okay, so right. you're not the 50%. Listen, this 2v1, I'm not liking it, you know. <laughs> now, but I'm speaking from experience for me, like, it is a hard thing. If but, they told you, what you would you say? But you can be friends. You can be friends with um, boys. Our friends owned a few of my friends, and we're happily friends. Like, they're only no still your now. friend because you've told them it's not going to go any further. Yeah, but four years down, they're still my friend. We speak every day. So what are they going to say? Does it ever go away? No way. Does of it course. intensify? Yes, it will intensify. No, but it's not. Listen, her I don't fault think you understand like how attraction you. works. If me and you stay in a room for seven hours straight, we are going to be attracted to each other. It's been two already, so we've got no. But some t- <laughs> no, if I don't find you attractive, I never will find you attractive. You can't force that on me. Whether you, you you know you force me in a room for five years, I don't like you. <laughs> I'm, you're not my type. Not you. I'm just saying, like, how can a man big. force me to like him? What kind of toxic man is that? It's easy. Listen, getting out of the friend zone is easy. How'd you get out of the friend zone? You didn't. Oh, I did. I told you. Oh. No, the, but that's not real. That's 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 sexual. What do you mean? Ex- excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be, you know, emotional. Right, do you want to know how I, Do you want to know how I got out of the friend zone? How? And this is like advice to any guy out there. Yeah. All you got to do is just reinvent yourself in front of the girl. So what, it looks like they've changed you or you're changing It looks like you're just a confident man that's just... Listen, the only reason why you're in the friend zone is because they don't see you as a um, potential candidate. This happens in films where they suddenly like get all ripped and stuff, don't they? No, no, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's basically, you just have to, like I said, you just have to reinvent yourself in front of her. I agree with him. See, every girl has a specific type and if you don't fall into that category, then she's not going to find you attractive I agree with him very well. See, what I did, I know that the girl that I was into at the time, she liked bad boys. So what I did is over time, I started portraying myself as someone that's turning into a bad boy. Even though we had a bad boy conversation 101. Do you know what? That I was like fake how the though. truth eventually that, that, No, 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 that was fake. That was fake. That was fake though. That was fake though. That was fake. That was fake. That was fake though. That was fake. But then you're not being true to yourself. So how long can you keep that act up? Will they then find out that you're not this bad boy? Oh, it turned out that she liked me all the time anyways. And oh. she just thought, she, she thought I was too good for her. That's oh. why she didn't, um, and yeah. did you pursue something actually serious? Nah. Why? Because I, I, I understood why she said she wasn't too, she wasn't good enough for me. Because she wasn't. <laughs> yeah. she just wasn't. If a man yeah. ever said that to me, I would kill him on the spot. No, but How no. dare you? So but 100% kind of, there's men out there that aren't good enough for you either. So she kind of, of warned course, you, but you didn't take But I'm women. always good enough for a man. Are you joking? What do you mean? Imagine a man. Did you ever say that to her? <laughs> she said it to me. No, did you say it to her? No, but I I agree. Like oh, a, after actually like, like. But do you mean incompatible? Not just because she's not good enough for you, but just incompatible. There's things you don't get on with, and you maybe her on. goal life. You yeah, know, she has yeah. no goals, no aspirations. Of course, maybe she's going to be looking like. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. She had no goals, aspirations. That is the biggest turn off in the world. Yeah, but for somebody else, if they have no goals either, they're just happy. Doing that so the thing is I'm thinking about it and I changed my answer men have more fickle friendships because I remember Drake sleeping with little Wayne's girl men actually are trifling they really do sleep with each other's girlfriends and then it's like oh we're bros again let's fight and keep it moving and they always talk about the female like oh it's just an okay. add-on to their friendship thank sometimes. you and men are bigger gossipers as well I don't believe that women are that bad I, I take think it the back. problem with women let's say there's a friend you're friends with somebody you will go out and bitch about each other but two other people why don't you just sit together and talk about it first and then sort it out rather than talking about it to everybody else so that's an issue with women that they won't always address it either and then they'll be nice face to face whereas men maybe they'll just won't speak and right. they'll be there you know i'm not talking to you that's me annoyed annoyed at you so to round this off let's have our order <laughs> 
Claudia, what is your order of male to male, male to female, and female to female? Which is the most fickle with the yeah. least fickle at the top? Least fickle? Yes. Oh, no, let's do the most fickle most at the fickle. top. Uh, male to female, then female to female, and then strongest ones, male to male. August. <laughs> most fickle, I would say, is male to female. And then after that is female to female. So then just copy and paste what I said. And then male to male. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I feel like it is male to female, yeah. most fickle, male to male, and then female to female. And the reason why I say this is because with male to female, when the girlfriend comes in, you don't like her, then all of a sudden he acts dodgy they, and you get annoyed. You out. They cut you out. How dare you? Anyone me listening out. who's cut me out because they got a girlfriend, you're missing out on a good that friend. That is the, you know, how painful is it to be with someone for years, to be their ride or die, yeah, and then yeah. a new girl comes in and you want to act brand new? I will go to your house in my car and be like, what are you doing? But I will actually even, they bang don't on that door. They don't, even, they, don't, they don't even contact you. And then they're like, oh, but you know, she not, doesn't like not, it. She doesn't why like not introduce it. you to the girlfriend and you can all be friends together? What's she the issue? knows he likes you, that's why. Yeah. 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 Yeah.